Today we're going to be going over the app Quiver for education. Now when I searched the Quiver education app, uh, I found there were multiple options here. Uh, the Quiver education app itself is actually $7.99, whereas the regular Quiver 3D coloring app is free. The difference being, in the education app, it is uh, solely the more education-focused pictures. Uh, we'll get into that in a minute. But it's a one-time purchase, and you are able to have all of the content uh, after that one-time purchase. Whereas with the Quiver 3D coloring app, it's free to download, but you have to, uh, if you want extra stuff, you're, some of it costs money, you have to buy it one piece at a time. However, I was able to find uh, free downloadable pictures from their website for the education app, uh, and we'll, I'll show you how that works now so we're going to use just the plain old quiver 3d coloring app uh, but with images from the education specific app it's the same thing and i'll show you how that works now first we go over here to the app itself and when you open it up it takes you to this page uh, print color play it's pretty much that simple uh, you go here to download different packs as you can see a lot of them are free uh, different ones cost money. These ones are not the educational ones. However, I, like I said, I went to their website. I found some of the educational ones for free that I was able to download. And so what I did, hit the play button down here. Uh, first of all, let's go over up to, if you go up here, it shows you exactly the instructions for how to do this. You print out the coloring pages from their website, color the pages, open the quiver and tap the play button. Uh, look at the coloring page and make sure you can see the whole page. And then it comes to life and you can mess around with it. And here it's got very specific instructions and languages and everything there. Very easy to use. So you hit the play button here. There's the animal cell. And here's the cool part. I can look at it from any angle here. And I can go in here and I can tap on it and it'll tell me exactly what each piece is. So there's the cell membrane, the ribosome, cell nucleus, dendrophytes in particular, lysosome, Golgi apparatus, and the powerhouse of the cell, the mitochondria, as we all know. Down here you've got different options. You can take a test by identifying the blinking parts and then selecting from the multiple choice list. So the multiple choice list is right here. So what is that? That is the cell membrane. Right, and then it goes on to the next one. What is that? That is the Golgi apparatus. And so far and so forth. So kids can kind of test themselves. Let's get one wrong on purpose here. Uh, this is clearly um, not the cell membrane because we already had that. So see, it tells me that I got the answer wrong. So it's a way for kids to kind of test themselves and look at it. Uh, you can go over here and take pictures of it. You can uh, record it as well. And you can even zoom in here and get a closer look. And what I like about it is it's the colors uh, that I colored it, which is pretty cool uh, for the most part. Um, pretty interesting stuff, how, all, how that, I like being able to play with it like that. Um, zoom out here. Now, let's go up here. Um, here's what I'll, here's what I'll uh, I can tap on each one as I want. Just like that, uh, and boom, those turn sheets out there. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you what happened when I first put this picture in the frame, and why you don't necessarily need to download the Quiver Education app. Uh, here, put the whole thing in the frame. There it is. I made a flag. I actually didn't do it this time, but uh, what happened the last time is when it saw that it was a sheet from the education specific content, it took a minute to download that folder and that information and then it was able to go from there. So as long as you go to the website and download the educational pages that you want, um, most of them for free, you don't ever actually have to buy the $8 app. As I would suggest doing. Um, here I created my own country, Appletopia, as you can see, gives me a bunch of different options to raise and lower the flag. Uh, this would be a cool thing for you to work on, I think. 
cultural sites. See, and I can go to different flags of the world. See how they are. United States, Spain, uh, China, etc. We'll go back to my own flag, which is kind of cool to see it kind of wave in there. Um, it's fun to play around with it in multiple directions. Crazy stuff. All right. So as far as the uh, educational content of this app, I highly recommend it. Uh, I think I think it works really really well. Uh, I think it'd be really, especially for for the science that we looked at there, or perhaps if you're into like drawing constellations in space or something like that, um, it's able a way for for kids, especially probably really like middle elementary school, like you know fourth fifth grade, they can color, they can get into it, and then they can go in and look at it and quiz over it, and it's theirs that they created, and uh, it's just a different way for them to to interact with the technology and with with what they're learning about. Um, it's pretty cool stuff. Uh, you could even look at this flag. Have a little, you know, like a country set up or something in the background that they drew, and then it's flagged, like a 3D flag over the middle of it. It's pretty cool. So there's a lot of different stuff. You can do this for storytelling, uh, so on and so forth. For free app with a lot of free content, I think it's great. And if you really want to go above and beyond and buy the $8 app to get all the content at once, um, I think you're you're able to do that too, and and it could be worth it. And on their website, they actually said that it's available for teacher. Uh, discounts and write-offs and things of that nature. So, in my opinion, this is a very good app uh, for education. I think it, it really accomplishes its purpose and um, does a very good job of it. Going back to the cell one more time, just to show you how quickly it works. There it is. Moves around in a circle, and it's the way that I've colored it and everything. Pretty crazy stuff. I like it a lot. All right. Um, that's what I got today for this app. Once again, this is called Quiver, uh, and the educational specific content is called Quiver for Education. Uh, probably not best for, for older kids, but definitely for the younger kids, this, this is a great app. Uh, and even if you just have a kid at home who wants to see his coloring books come to life or whatever, definitely recommend it. All right.